Today, we're gonna try to 3D print and cast an aluminum handle for a lathe. So let's get started. So the first thing that we gotta do is design this model in 3D space. Okay, so now that we have the handle designed, we're gonna go print it, and then we're gonna build a mold for it and cast it. The part is printed, so there's no infill. It's one layer thick and it's completely hollow. The idea is it will be easier to clean out the plastic or burn the plastic out when I go for the mold. And my idea is to put some clay around it, then we'll bake the plastic out of it, which will then produce the mold, and then I wanna leave it hot and then pour the aluminum. We're gonna see if it's gonna work. So now we'll just kinda just let this thing dry. Okay, the mold is starting to crack. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, break this, this mold that I have on here off and then re-put a new one on that's much thinner. All right, I'm thinking this one will have a better chance of survival. And I, well, I tried it and it cracked. Here's what I'm gonna do then. I read online and I think what's happening is the clay is drying too quickly and cracking. We're gonna rebuild this thing, third time's a charm, right? And then we're gonna control the drying with a plastic bag over the top of it. We'll give it a shot. Let's hope it works. It cracked. Again, potentially the plastic in there is having some sort of effect on the way that this clay dries. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in all the cracks with clay. All right, majority of the cracks are filled in. For my backup plan, in case this doesn't work, I'm going to use some cob here, and I've made a batch of two to one, one clay and two sand. And then essentially I'm just gonna make a brick out of this with the part inside of it and then I'm not gonna burn the part out. I'm gonna pour the aluminum right onto the part and let the aluminum uh, burn out the plastic as it goes down and see how well that works. So here is a furnace I built a while back. And um, well, let's just say the footage I had for this project never made it out. I actually lost all my footage for this project. I think I might have forgot to film a lot of things and stuff. Um, but either way, here's the furnace that I'm gonna use to melt the metal. Um, I made it out of basically just a couple uh, propane tanks. And essentially it's got a rocket stove idea with a a pipe that goes down there and out the bottom here. And then this thing goes on top here. And basically the idea is you put, build a fire in that hole there. A smaller propane tank goes in here for melting the metal. And that's kind of the whole project. And I think I'll also put a fan down on the bottom there so it pumps the air up and out. But there we go. I'm gonna melt down some of the cans that I got from my can bin and then I will forge the parts with that aluminum. So I guess we'll get it fired up here to use to melt the metal that I'm gonna use for this project. So, yeah, essentially what occurred is it cracked. Yeah, the whole thing cracked. I'm gonna try the other one because that's not working. I'm gonna pour this one up wet but stiff. You can see that, that my finger won't push into it. It's stiff enough that it'll hold. 
but I think if it's dry, I think it will crack because of the heat. But I think the aluminum now will just cause it to boil up and then dry and harden. I'm thinking is the best way to do this. The outside layer of this thing seems pretty hard. I'm gonna break it apart. Oh, dang it. Yep. Maybe you got that top layer though. Yeah. Close. Wow. Look at that. That's a beautiful, that's the most beautiful casted part I've ever seen. It just wasn't able to melt all the way down. It got cool. Stick on the car. Well, we have made an iron. So my brother's suggesting that we take, we make the same thing again, we print this part out, do the same thing, put it in the fire pit, burn it out, and that also dry this, ouch, really hard, that it can hold its shape, and then pour it. Did it melt through? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. All right, that's the part there. And now we just gotta clean it up, make it look nice, cut the pumps off, drill a hole in it. The handle is complete. This goes on here just like this on the lathe. And then it turns around this section which moves the cross section piece there. And speaking of which, this lathe is in the process of being made by Mr. Off and On. Link in description to those videos. Very cool, definitely go check them out. Um, I definitely could get this handle a little smoother, um, but I don't think I wanna get it very smooth. I like this feel. It kinda matches the look of the other handle. Thanks for watching. And as always, we will see you next week with another video. Yay! Bye! With the clay anymore. It's a... Oof. Oh! Sorry. The smoke is bad! You can see the headphones like all smoked out.